So let's do another little, um, another little drill just to get you more friendly with the edge of the white ball. So what we'll do is if I can just take the uh, cue. And this is quite common with the rest that it's not that easy to see the distance. To judge that distance, yes. Yeah. So you end up, eventually, you end up going by the shadows on the ball. Uh, and I can see the shadows there. So that's, that's where most pro, what most pros are going by, is the shadows on the ball. Especially with the screw shot, that's easier to see the shadows in the ball. But, um, so what you do is, you touch the white three times. That's liberating. Yes. Not allowed to do that, are we? What a taboo! We touch the white. Mm. Oh, it's but, a, eh? It's a great idea. Let's do it. Mm -hmm. yeah, pull back down a little bit on the rest. Yeah, yeah, something like that. So just count one, two, three. Well done. Yeah. I can't see any shadow. You'll begin to notice them uh, as you touch the white. You'll begin to notice them gradually. Here, the shadow will be underneath the tip. Yes. It's much more difficult to spot when you're above centre of the cue ball. This also does is it promotes a, a little bit of cue care for a player. In other words, uh, they have a, a finer resolution of movement with the cue because you've got to rest it up to the white. That means you've got to be under control Ooh. of the cue and then come back again and settle, come back and settle and play. Mm. Whereas if you've got that much gap to the white, you can just do anything with the cue. It doesn't matter, does it? No, that's right. But you have no idea where it is. That's the whole thing. That's the only yeah. reason my cue would have been that far back, because I don't know that it's there. Yeah. I think it's closer than it is. Yeah. to do this now, I was always afraid to do that. Oh well then. Yeah, yeah because you think the hand thinks the cue's gonna go flying like a jab javelin. <laughs> You're gonna speed someone down the end of the Even worse, spear itself under the cloth <laughs> and rip it to shreds. What this also does to the cueing action of the player is it just slows it down to a more controllable speed. Mm. It's so common with the rest. They yeah. go like that, don't they? Yeah, because they're scared. They don't know what to do with it. They just want to get rid of the shot. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Get this grenade out of my hand. <laughs> That's right. That's exactly right. Can I try a screw with screw shot? Yeah, well, let's go for a stop shot. Uh, okay. A little bit higher on the ball. There you go. Okay. Touch higher. Yeah, there's a bit of margin of error there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I accidentally got a screw shot in there, but yeah, mm -hmm. about much effort either, was it? No effort. Amazing. Another stop shot, another stop shot. Oh, yeah. And your hand back, back yeah. bring that hand back. Yeah. yeah. So, so I would say I'm probably, can I just grab the rest for mm. you? 
most players, most pros are inside there, so the, the end of the rest is inside the elbow. Yes, yes. Otherwise you end up doing this. Yeah, yeah. And to relax you get too close. Yeah, to yeah, that's what I've done, I'm yeah. sure. Yeah, that's it. So that's quite a nice reference slide. Yeah, I've got some Gorilla Tape if you want to tape <laughs> it to the arm. <laughs> better now with and will become better with that touching three times exercise how do you think that will develop your cueing control well it'll allow me to uh, get my cue really close to the to the white ball so then of course that's the delivery so you're right through the white it helps with the timing and the accuracy of strike right. as well yeah you know where the white ball is yeah exactly right yeah exactly right everything about it, about the shots there whereas I'm sure and I watch other guys and the same thing when they're even queuing down without using the rest, you know, they're sitting this far away and I say, yeah. you realise you're this far away from the, from the ball. They say, oh, I thought I was like this. Yeah. 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 What else, uh, what other benefits would that touching exercise do? Uh, it's just the, the timing on it, it just makes the timing nice and steady. Mm -hmm. um, so it's not a rushed action. Yeah, it prevents rushing on a queue. That's mm. it. That's your two benefits. Wonderful. Yeah, well done. Good. Thank you.